All right, so measuring. Let's go to sector spotlight. We're going to check the temperature of tech. Nearing summer, which, by the way, is a seasonally slow period, but some of these leaders are holding up somewhat well. Yes. So I want to kind of see what that meant heading into the summer season. We want to go to Netflix first. Seeing kind of a breakout trade here, right? Yeah, Netflix has been one of the best acting stocks on the board. Everyone, you know, on TV keeps going, all those shorties, you know, why it can't go higher, and all of a sudden all it does is go higher. So I like to just watch you know, the action of the chart here. And if you look, we're so close to these highs. If Netflix starts to get above this uh, 248 area, which I want to show you here, this could be one of the first tech stocks that are on my go-to list to make new highs, uh -huh. and then others could follow. What's interesting, though, is about one-fifth of all the outstanding shares are actually short. Yes. So you know what they have to do? They have to cover. Right. So, that, so <laughs> I was going to say, is that actually a bullish indicator, then, to get it, that? It is, it, especially if the... If the the, the strong holders stay in there, mm -hmm. and Netflix continues to add subscribers, continue to launch in other countries. Right. They're going to be in trouble if they announce a stock split. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> <laughs> and then, as we know, funds really like this guy, too, to have in their portfolio. Okay, yes. let's go to Apple. So, saw a red dog reversal yesterday. Now, we got to just update our audience again on what that really means. Well, the red dog reversal was on Tuesday. That's when we oh, sorry, broke Tuesday. below mm -hmm. 332 after a move from 350. That was your reversal pattern. That was your area to get long. And if you bought at 332, we're now at 341. So for cash flow, you made 10 points. So as a trader, great trade. As an investor, I just want to show you the pattern real mm -hmm. quickly. We still look good in Apple here. Apple basically you know, is channeling right now all the way up here. Granted, did it break out when I wanted it to at 350? No. But if you look overall, it's still holding the moving averages. It's still consolidating nicely. There will be, at some point, if I could get this chart to do this, you know, a <laughs> breakout above this 351 area. And I do think we could see 400, 420 you know, on a macro level. It just, you have to take trades along the way to keep your sanity. And you know, CNET just announced that uh, Apple uh, signed a cloud music licensing deal with EMI and might also sign a deal with Sony and Universal Music Group. And I wonder if that's any kind of catalyst to kind of break it out in one way. That could help. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, also the iPhone 5 yeah. and also, obviously, the mobile devices, the iPad 2, no, no disruptions yet. So I think there's a lot of catalysts for Apple. I think as a long, long-term investor, it needs to be in your portfolio. But as an active trader, you just made 10 points. I see some resistance, 343 to 345. That's where you take your short-term trade, and that's where you look for a cute little pause or a short mm -hmm. if you're trying to you know, maneuver it on a day-to-day -day basis like I do. All right, let's go to Baidu. Held up Wednesday. Where If traders were riding this one for a bounce, what do you do now? Well, uh, I see resistance coming up. Yeah. Baidu's been like the key tell-all stock. It was a massive go-to stock during the crisis in Japan. It showed its face. You could have bought it for a nice long-term trade on earnings. Pushed through, failure, couldn't make new highs. That was your sell signal from mm -hmm. there. Went from like 150 down to the 100-day on Tuesday. So if you, if you saw that and got rid of it, you could buy it back. So if you look at Baidu, Baidu held the 100-day, okay, held support, which was, you know, right. This, look, look, how, look how easy it looks after the fact. It always looks easy after the fact. But if you keep looking at this, you'll see why. This is where it broke out. This is where it held. Here's your nice little bounce. I see easy type of trade back to about this 138 area where the moving averages is curling over. So for Baidu, right now you have a nice short-term bounce. If this whole pattern could build you know, a bit more, you will then see that you know, these leading stocks that had these high base, high level consolidations could get constructive, they could regroup and go again and that will help the markets. Right, and talking about tech, I want to go to say